Yeah. Better one? Yeah. That oh. one. <laughs> Rick Jones. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Hi, doing everybody. Hey, Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism. Of course, I'm with Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors, and uh, we're out ice fishing today on Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world, Greg. And I think uh, this is a heck of a start to a oh, good yeah. day. Oh, yeah. That one come up and crunched it. That's for sure. 19 and a half right on that line. And, of course, on Lake of the Woods, 19 and a half to 28, you put them back. You can keep a combined limit of six fish, up to four of those combined walleyes and saugers. Up to four could be walleyes. You can keep one big fish over 28. This fish is so close to the line, we're catching a lot of fish. You don't want to let this fish go. There you go. It's a nice sauger, you guys. But uh, you know, when you're in Lake of the Woods, you'll catch both walleyes, saugers, and actually you'll catch a mixed bag of fish. You never know what you're going to get. Tulabies, jumbo perch, pike, eel pout, sturgeon. I mean, you can get them all. We got this fish on a dead stick. And normally when you're fishing Lake of the Woods, you use the one-two punch. One line for jigging, the other line dead sticking. Sometimes they, they get attracted to the, to the uh, jigging line and that'll pull them under the house. Sometimes they hit the jigging line. But regardless, it's good to have that jigging line. I'll tell you, there are days where that dead stick is the hottest darn stick in the, in the house. Normally you're taking a live minnow and putting that about six inches to a foot off the bottom. That's the ticket. Greg, I got him on a keep it clean jigging spoon. Yeah, nice little walleye here. Let's see. Look at that. Nice one, Joe. He whacked that spoon up. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to keep it clean uh, yep, stop sign, go. so pretty pretty good deal. But, you know, folks, people ask all the time, you know, hey, how do you break down Lake of the Woods? I'm not real familiar with it. And really, there's three parts to Lake of the Woods, I like to say. You know, first off is the Rainy River, and there's ice fishing that happens on the Rainy River. Because there's current, I'll say, make sure you go with an out, outfitter or a resort when you go on the river. The second part of Lake of the Woods, a big open area of ice called Big Traverse Bay, 30 miles north-south by about 25 miles east-west. And our resorts have it covered very nicely with ice trails and ice roads. And then, of course, the third part of Lake of the Woods is that little tip that sticks up into Canada called the Northwest Angle. It's the northernmost point of the contiguous U.S., and it's where the 14,552 islands of our lake begin. If you drive up there, you drive 40 miles through Canada and re-enter up at the Angle. If you want to stay in Minnesota to get up there, then you simply uh, uh, either take a snowmobile across. There's groomed stake snowmobile trails that go 42 miles. We also have the Lake of the Woods Passenger Service that will take your group up round trip via Bombardier. And we also have Lake Country Air that will actually fly you. Uh, and land on the ice up there from all over the Midwest or just across the lake. Now, what kind of resort do you want to stay at? Man, we got something for everybody. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and want to bring your own equipment up, hey, we, we got that, hotels and resorts and cabins. At the same time, if you don't fish very much and you want to say, hey, I want to go make life easy. I want to eat the meals at the resorts. I want to go out to a, a fish house that's on the fish. The holes are drilled in 70 degrees like we did today. There's that available too. Just about everything you can imagine uh, and probably more up at Lake of the Woods. But Hey, all that information is on our website, you guys, and that is lakeofthewoodsmn.com. I'm saying power. Let's see. The way it's fighting. It comes. It comes. That's what it is. Good one, though. And a bunch of treble hooks down there. Come on. Yeah. Got a hold of them there. Look at that pony. <laughs> you know, folks, that's uh, that's what they call a boat with a pony. <laughs> but he came up and hit that ripping wrap. Yeah, that. he came way up on that. But, yeah. You know, I'll tell you what, you guys, they call this, so obviously it's an eel pout. Another name is a burbot. Another name is a freshwater cod. Another name is a lawyer. These fish, you hardly ever catch one in the summer. But when the ice comes, boy, I'll tell you, they get active. The state record eel pout is from Lake of the Woods. And it's actually uh, over uh, over 19 pounds. Still a grabber there for you. Thank you, buddy. You Appreciate go. it. You got him. Yeah, look at that, huh? Folks, we're in a day house today, and you know, it's so great coming up to Lake of the Woods. You can actually keep your fish houses out on the ice through March 31st. Heck, walleye and sauger season is open through April 14th. Pike season never closes, which really gives you an opportunity for that March ice fishing. All right, nice one. one. Yeah, there you go. That was a fun fight. Nice fish. We whacked it finally. Took him a bit, but uh, he got him. <laughs> well, tell you what, uh, Greg, we've had an incredible day in Lake of the Woods. Yep. We've had uh, big fish, little fish, 
we've caught a pout, we've caught variety, and it's been pretty darn comfortable, hasn't lots it? Lots of action, lots of hook sets, and very comfortable. Very warm. Yeah, I like <laughs> this kind of fishing. Folks, <laughs> if you want to find out more about ice fishing Lake of the Woods and catching walleyes like this, check out our website. It's lakeofthewoodsmn.com. Hey, for Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors, I'm Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism. More Midwest Outdoors coming up next. Nice one.